Hey everyone, I'm Kelsey, and today I've got Alex here with me to hang out and talk about uh, Face ID on the new iPhone X. Um, this is one of the most anticipated components of this phone. Yeah, absolutely. It's really one of the most exciting things, and it's really the make or break for this phone of how revolutionary it really is. So the True Depth camera system has like six different components that work together to bring you Face ID. We've got the front-facing camera, an infrared camera, the proximity sensor, flood illuminators, dot projectors, and I've gone through and set up Face ID so I have a little bit of an idea of how the individual components work to scan my face, but how, you know, from start to finish, how do all those components work together to bring you Face ID? The, the first two components that are really going to be crucial in making this work very consistently are going to be the ambient light sensor and the proximity sensor. And those are going to be in charge of looking at how much light there is around you to see if it's a high light situation or a low light situation to see how much IR it really needs in order to read your face. Yeah, so if I'm trying to get into my phone you know, in the middle of the night or on a really bright day, proximity sensor would tell how far away from the phone I am and then ambient light is sensing the light around me to then know how much IR to you know, put on my face, I guess. Exactly, right? <laughs> yeah, and that's the, that's the job of the flood illuminator. The okay. flood illuminator is really non-discriminatory. It's just going to blast the, your face full of IR <laughs> just so that it's more visible for the IR camera. The dot projection is really where you get that sense of precision with the, the touted 30,000 dots that go yeah. all over your face and make a map of your face to send it back to the phone. That's a lot of dots, 30,000 dots. I mean, it must be pretty secure. I know the chances of tricking Face ID are like one in a million compared to Touch ID, which is like one in 50,000. It does take effort to trick Touch ID and it's not something that's really easy to do, but it was doable. So now we have to see if we can go a step further and trick Face ID somehow, but that'll be hard to do. I still want to try. I've got a couple things up my sleeve. Okay, let's see if we can possibly trick it with a uh, printed face of my face. <laughs> do you think? Oh my gosh. Do you think it would work? I mean, if I put this on my face, it's the shape of my face, and there's all the shadows and features in a sense. Do you think it might work? I I see where the idea is, but I don't think it'll quite work. With with elastic, it's going to really smooth out a lot of things, especially with That's your true. nose coming out. So the angles are probably going to be a little bit wrong, and the heat is also going to be off. It's not yeah. going to transfer as regularly as your actual face would. Because it's taking but. a full 3D mapping, so it's it's looking at depth and all the creases and everything, right? Yeah, That's and not even your hair. Yeah. 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 So you won't get that depth through the hair. The hair is going to be flat. So. It shouldn't work, but we'll see what it does. Wanna try it? Let's try it. Okay. All right. This feels this feels weird, <laughs> but we're gonna try this. See, see oh, how no. it goes. Can you help me out with this one? Yeah, your nose is like in my eye. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. There we go. Eyes are lined up. Chin and nose. Hair. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's try. All right, iPhone. Am I Kelsey? Oh, it looks like I'm not Kelsey. It looks like your first attempt didn't work, Kelsey. Well. Let me try again. You thought there was one, but there's actually two. Oh my god. What gosh. if it's on my face though? It should, if it's the right shape, do you mm -hmm. think? Perfect. A little bit too high. There we go. Let's see, I found. This isn't scary at all. <laughs> okay, let's see. No! So I thought. Oh no! All right. Kelsey, you're not Kelsey. I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not myself. Even in my own skin, I'm not myself. All right, so I get that that might not, you know, have, have been quite enough, but we take it a step further. There's more. Oh, There's no. more. Oh, no. You should check out what's in, what's the, in box. the box. What's in the box? Oh my gosh, it's the full, it's the full Kelsey Latex mask. So, so here's what we did. We took three um, photos of like my profile and the front of my face and we sent it to a company to do a 3D printed model of my face. So it's a little bit big, but the features are more prominent. Maybe we can trick the <laughs> baby. I mean, it's definitely worth a shot. It's you wanna try, do you wanna try first? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And you just, it's gonna be Kelsey. I am Kelsey. It's so good. Come big. on, iPhone. Maybe with your eyes and your hair? Maybe. Who knows? Oh, it's so big. Okay. Mm. No. 
face ID works Deny. too well. There's a lot working against us though, right? So so what are the problems with, with the things that we tried? Yeah, and the, all of these options really do highlight all the points that it's gonna make Face ID really hard to fool. It can't be too much of a change. It really has to be flexible and respond to all of the IR cues properly like a real face. So it does seem like it's gonna be a ways away before we can trick Face ID. Yeah, exactly. But um, at least now I have an army of my faces mm -hmm. and um, Halloween costumes for next year if anybody wants a version of my face. Uh, but now we've got to tear this thing down. So stay tuned for the um, iPhone 10 teardown video coming up next. Thanks for hanging out with us and thanks for joining me. Of course, and, uh, always a pleasure. We'll see you next time.